Clancy K is good with his hands. My grandson got me that last uh, Christmas. Grandpa's uh, fix-it shop because I'm considered to be the guy that can fix anything. For three decades, Kay used his fix-it skills at the Mount Tom coal-fired power plant in Holyoke, Massachusetts, a struggling old mill town with a large Puerto Rican community. Rosa Gonzalez wanted Mount Tom shut down. Two big reasons, greenhouse gases adding to global warming and air pollution worsening the region's asthma problem. I'm personally one of those affected because one year I was hospitalized four or five times, and this affected me a lot. And it's not just me. The children of the community have a lot of asthma. Asthma rates here are twice the national average. Gonzalez joined a campaign to close the plant, clean the air, and help the community breathe easier. But she knew that meant workers would lose their jobs. I worried about that a lot because I went through that myself. It's not easy to have a firm job and then suddenly be up in the air. It's not good. She said she was laid off after eight years at a warehouse job. That's why she and the campaign pushed for fair treatment for the plant's workers. But the workers were not impressed, Kay says. They want you to have a soft landing and a just transition, but yet they have the saw in their hand that is cutting the branch that you're uh, sitting on. The writing was already on the wall, though. Jonathan Poor is with Engie, which owned Mount Tom. He says the old coal plant could not compete anymore. Utilities are switching from fossil fuels to natural gas and more renewable resources. So purely from a cost perspective, uh, it didn't make sense to operate the plant anymore. So Engie pulled the plug. But just down the road... So this is one of the first solar and storage projects in New England. We believe it's still one of the largest. I think what you're looking at here is really the future of electricity. When I found out about the solar panels, I was surprised, but really happy. Dirty coal to clean solar. It's just what the campaign fought for. And Gonzalez says her asthma is better. Mount Tom had 28 workers when it closed, down from 80 at its peak. Some retired. Kay says the dozen or so who found other jobs took major pay cuts and lost benefits. It's been really a very rude awakening for many people who used to make some very good money and some very highly skilled people. As for Kay, he started a pool installation company that's expanding. Change happens, he says. We used to say, coal is king, king coal, but you know, it's just not that way anymore. And all in all, I think that's probably a good thing. Even as coal plants close, Massachusetts is gaining clean energy jobs and growing its economy. The transition is painful, but economists say winners outnumber losers. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Holyoke, Massachusetts.